Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is a beautiful, snowy, crisp and cold morning up here in the mountains today. So if you did not catch the episode before this, this is episode number six. Go back and check out episode number five. You would have heard Kendra and I in the evening discussing a storm that was supposed to roll in. <laughs> it definitely rolled in. Yes. So we've got over a foot of snow outside right now of the lightest powder snow absolutely incredible so the the snow is actually leaking inside of the tent right now the stove jack is wide open i did have a rope around it it's since melted away so it is wide open there's a little bit of snow coming in uh, i did crack the door when i was dumping the kettle out so you guys probably seen a little bit of that but there's a foot of snow out there boomer is almost buried in it running through the snow out there for his bathroom break and, and it's still coming down it's still coming down so it's definitely not over it's yeah. probably just starting realistically uh, so the tent is sagging with snow. We do have to bang all the snow off right now It's doing a great job of holding in a lot of the heat So we're gonna leave it on for now, but we're gonna finish up our coffees Which we got right here and today's gonna be pack up day. We just wanted to bring you up to speed with uh, There is a lot of snow outside so we have to clean off the truck get that fired up Luckily, I packed away the rooftop tent yesterday and we did a general cleanup of the tent with the large items that we weren't going to use overnight and today so the biggest thing is get the stove burned out so we're gonna let that do its thing for a little bit probably put another piece of wood in there while we're packing up pads sleeping bag all that stuff and uh, and then start hauling it out to the snowy truck I'm probably gonna start it up and back it up closer to the tent that way we don't have to go so far back and forth uh, but yeah there's a lot of stuff to do today so we got to get the metal trunk and fill that full of all the food items miscellaneous items batteries all have to go inside the truck cab so that'll be one of the last things because it is dark in here and just kind of chip away at one thing at a time and basically get it all packed up and then the dreaded tent we have to take down this large tent to get all the pegs out of the ground which are uh, almost like textured rebar pegs so they have ridges on them so they don't come out of the ground well they're probably not going to want to come out of the ground today so that's going to be a joy maybe we could use the diesel heater yeah, we could use a diesel the heater to thaw it out. It yeah, I was frozen. thinking about that actually earlier. Um, that and a combination of hot water pulling them out really fast. Uh, the ones I pulled out of the rooftop tent yesterday, the ground was so frozen that they actually slid right out. I was actually quite surprised with that. They came out with minimal effort, um, but they weren't touched either. They weren't pounded in any farther than initial. So when they froze, they froze solid and they just kind of popped right out. Usually just give them a good shock. Just give them one little hit and it breaks them free and they come out. But these pegs for this tent are Pretty heavy duty. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're textured. So if they're frozen in there, it's going to be definitely diesel heater or hot water or both. So we'll get her done. Yes, we will. So good morning guys. And it is also just about Christmas. So if you guys are watching this, you're probably watching this episode after Christmas, but, uh, Happy holidays to anyone who is watching. And uh, yeah, it's only about a couple days away for us. So that's why we're leaving today, unfortunately. With all the snow, we want to stay, but we cannot because we have holiday things to do at home. Too much to do and no time to do it. Yeah, so. Back to the hustle and bustle of the holiday season. Yeah, back into town. Yeah. So cheers, guys. Good morning. And we'll catch up with you as soon as we're done with coffee. Alright, so we're almost finished up with coffee here and we did the old diesel heater sleeping bag trick again last night. So like I said, if you guys didn't catch the previous episodes, what we did is we took our diesel heater and we've been heating our shower stall, which was the annex to our rooftop tent, our propane hot shower. We've been using this to preheat that room and I uh, got the clever idea to bring it in and jam it inside of the sleeping bag foot end to pump hot air up inside while we're sleeping. Well worth it. <laughs> Absolutely a great idea. So right now I just cranked it up to its max settings, getting really nice and hot because the wood stove is gonna die down and we're gonna continue packing up the tent. We're actually gonna start packing up the tent. But uh, this on setting number one inside the sleeping bag, 
totally worth it. We let our wood stove go out every single night of this trip. And the first two nights it was pouring with rain. We didn't use this. We let the wood stove go out totally fine. But the third, fourth, fifth, and last night um, was cold. So having this jammed inside of the sleeping bag was absolutely worth it not having to get out and load the wood stove or go through the whole shivering phase of coming inside after having to pee and uh, jumping in a cold sleeping bag. This is definitely worth it. Uh, to give you guys an idea, we are running a, I believe it's a four liter tank. It's a very small tank. We've gone through half of that on setting number one over 13 hours overnight. So and we got that plugged into our Jackery battery down here with the 12 volt and it's been working like a champ. So I got it cranked up to max right now. Just gonna let that do its thing, fill the tent with hot air. Uh, and we're going to start packing up the sleeping bag, sleeping pads, make a little bit of floor space here. Probably load a piece or two in the wood stove just to have, you know, it's easy to clean it out in the snow. Just dump it out, let it cool down before packing it inside of the truck. So it's getting to be that time to start packing up. We've got to get all the snow off the tent as well. So that's going to be... There's a lot. <laughs> that's going to be a fun time. Yeah. So let's get started.
All right, guys, so as you can see, there is significant snowfall overnight, and it is not gonna let up anytime soon. So I've got the truck backed up towards the tent. Kendra and I have gotta go inside and smack all of that snow and ice off there. There's quite large icicles hanging off the side because the tent was really hot last night. So we've got the task of doing that. The truck is fairly clean for now. We're just gonna leave it alone, drop the tailgate, start loading things in one at a time and deal with the tent very last, which is not gonna be fun. So let's go knock some snow off. All right, so we literally just dusted snow off of the tent maybe 40 seconds ago, and it's already starting to accumulate on the tent. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of how steady this snowfall is coming down. And we're already over a foot of accumulation out in the open areas. Right here on our table and our bench, you guys can see it is stacked up quite a bit. It's not gonna let up anytime soon. So we're hoping these pegs are not frozen in the ground. I'm gonna say they're not, because it was rather warm yesterday. In the evening, it started raining. The snow would have insulated them, so I'm gonna say they're gonna come out pretty easy, but we will find out in just a moment. So I'm gonna drop the tailgate, get some snow out of there. We've got the camp table to put in flat first, our sleeping bag on top. We've got a metal trunk that we gotta get in there. A whole bunch of large, heavy items. And we're gonna roll the tent up at the very end in a big ball. Jam it on top because it's heavy and that'll hold everything down in the back of the truck. Throw a strap over it and hit the road. So let's do that.
All right, guys, we are almost out of the woods right now, just driving down the mountain. Total snow cover out here in the forest. Pretty awesome time. Getting everything packed away was a little bit of a challenge, but it is packed and inside of the truck. So I want to thank you guys for joining us on this multi-day adventure out in the forest. And definitely check out parts one through six. All the links will be down in the video description. Until next time, peace out, guys. Peace out. We'll see you in the next episode.